Now let's fill in these circles with some color. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, so I'm just looking at my yellow circle. And you can see that I've got it selected there. I've got this is the stroke color, and it's yellow. And the fill, there is nothing. You could make it a solid color very easily by simply clicking on that. But there's also a gradient fill. Now this is a linear gradient that simply goes from one side to the other, and you can see it right here. If you click on the gradient tool, it'll also show you the gradient right on the shape. You can move this color stop and you can see what happens. This is the midpoint and that can be changed as well, but we're going to be moving the actual color stop. But first, we're going to change it to a radial gradient. Notice the difference there. It starts in the middle and goes to the outside. Perfect gradient for these circles. Now, I'm going to double click on that color stop and choose a yellow color. And I'm going to want to move this color stop over towards the outside to give it that beveled look. Now this stroke right here kind of messes with that look. So I'm simply going to switch over to the stroke and say I don't want a stroke. And now we've got that one. So I'm going to use my selection tool, go to blue, and apply the gradient fill right there. So this color, I can double click on it, and I could choose one or I can even use this eyedropper and select the blue that was already there. Now I'm going to switch to the stroke and get rid of it. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what's happening. Let's do the green one. So V selection tool, selecting the green circle. And let's get rid of the stroke. Go to the fill, change it to a gradient. And this time, since I already got rid of the stroke, I'll need to change this to the green that I had before. Lighter colors work better. I'm going to switch to the gradient here so that you can see that I definitely don't want this to be way over here. I want that color gradient to happen right towards the edge. I want that gradient color to happen right towards the edge. I've got one more to do, so let me just finish that off. I'm going to click on my red one. I'm going to switch to the fill and say I want a colored fill. I'm going to double click on the green color stop. Be careful clicking anywhere else. You can accidentally create them. You can pull them off as well. And I'm going to color choose from the red right there. There we go. And switch over to that stroke and say, I don't want a stroke. And this is what we should see. Red, green, blue, and a yellow in the middle.